Hi, I'm Todd Vickle. Hey, I'm Matt Darcy. Hey, I'm Jesse Ellis. And, and we're, we're part of the Drexel Microgravity University team. Our project was characterizing the performance of a gravity gradient boom intended to be deployed from a CubeSat satellite. This boom is experimental because it incorporates particles into the tip mass or counterweight. The intended purpose of these particles is to dampen or dissipate the kinetic energy of an attitude control device in a free-floating environment. Much force acts on the boom during deployment. If not properly dissipated, the forces could cause the satellite to tumble uncontrollably. Since the satellite needs an Earth-facing orbit in order to take photographs of the Earth, this would ruin the mission. In order to test the deployment and stability characteristics, it was necessary to test in a zero-gravity environment. To conduct the experiment, we made a metal platform to mount the satellite and cameras, which would record the boom's movement in two axes. Here we have the assembled experiment. The base plate and camera holding arms are made of aluminum. The holders meet the plate at an angle so that the boom and tip mass could be properly recorded once fully deployed. Holes were drilled here in the base plate so that it could be mounted to the aircraft floor during flight. This is the satellite model used during our experiment. The three aluminum sides make a housing for the boom casing. This is where the boom is rolled up and stored when not deployed. The boom casing itself is made from a durable plastic. The spindle in the center of the casing is used to retract the boom once deployed. The electronics are mounted to the side. The purpose of this circuit is to retract this solenoid after a set time once this button is pressed. This allows for the boom to deploy freely from the casing. Here is one of the tip masses used. A quick release system was used to ensure easy interchange of masses. The entire experiment was custom made in Drexel's machine shop and Drexel's autonomous systems labs facilities using various types of machinery, including bandsaw, drill press, mill, and CNC. This required specific plans made ahead of time. All design work was done in ProEngineer, a 3D modeling program. Creating the design through this software allowed the team to make quick revisions. Also, stress analysis was performed through this program once the design was finalized. Once the experiment was built, it was time to go to Houston, Texas. The work wasn't over once we were at Ellington Field. The project had to be reassembled and the few final touches had to be made to prepare for the test readiness review. During the review, various NASA representatives and engineers examined the experiment for flight safety and to check for any design flaws. After the experiment passed this test, it was ready to be fun in zero gravity. The first day was the mounted test. The deployments were sometimes affected by dirty air, which is when the aircraft is not in complete zero gravity. However, during periods of complete weightlessness, it was observed that the tip masses with close to 50% fill rates allowed the boom to deploy safely and with more stability. On day two, the free float test, similar results were observed. When the fill rate of the mass tip deviated from 50%, the boom would have difficulty deploying. The team will now begin outreaching to local schools and organizations. The team hopes to use our experience to get younger students interested in science and engineering, especially related to space and near space exploration. This experiment would not have been possible without NASA and the support of the Drexel community. The team would like to thank the entire Reduced Gravity Office for providing an amazing opportunity. A big thank you goes out to our Microgravity University mentor, Todd Isaacson. He was very helpful in acclimating us to NASA practice and procedure, and was instrumental in our free floating test. We also thank Drexel Space Systems Lab Director and our mentor, Dr. Jin Kang. Also, we greatly appreciate all the help given to us by Abishak Ghosh, the Drexel Machine Shop staff, Roy R.J. Gross, Drexel Scalable Autonomous Systems and Formula SAE Labs, as well as the Pennsylvania Space Grant Consortium. Thanks for watching.